Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Diamond, also known as Nomad. So today I'm just doing a end of the season favorites video, just kind of some things that I really enjoyed using this past season and probably what I will take into my next season and we'll just kind of, you know, talk about it. <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and get started with this video. So the first thing I have is my Maybelline Maybelline Shine Free, I believe, loose powder. I got it from Walmart. It's like five bucks, but this is great for oily skin. It does not clog my pores. I can put this on my T-zone areas here, 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 here. Also, I'll bake with it, and like, it's perfect for me. Like, I have no shine. I have no effects whatsoever. So I really do love this stuff. Like this. I've had it forever too, so it actually lasts a pretty long time. It's really loose though, so I'm not going to open it up and show you guys. The next thing I have, my Laura Geller, and this is my Invisible Matte Plotting Powder. Now this, I was at a Ulta with one of my friends and we were like just looking around because we were trying to go see a movie. But you know, I didn't pay attention. I chose a movie. We agreed on the movie and I told her the time, but come to find out I looked at the wrong time so we had like an hour to walk around so we just ended up going to Ulta long story short went to Ulta and I found this I came across this and this I put it on her face and we were like oh look at this and like all her shine just went away I was like no way so I did it on my face and it was perfect so I'm like I gotta get this next time I come back out here so it's like 24 bucks I get it from Ulta you can wear it with makeup or you can wear it without makeup I'll just put it in my purse it just carried around in case I needed it for little areas. Or sometimes I would even put it under my foundation. So this is just like an all around great product, especially for oily skin. These are my Elore eyelashes. I do not have them on right now. I have on some different lashes. What do I have on? These Make Effect lashes, you can get them from Ulta for about 10 bucks, but it does include an eyelash glue. So you just basically get the lashes and you get your glue easy to put on i love these lashes they're so sleek they make any look look great the next thing i have is my nubian 2 palette this is probably one of my favorite coats Ooh, if you don't have this palette you need it get this from juvia's place for like 39 bucks or maybe it's tw 29 bucks i believe it's 29 29.99 so like 30 bucks um look at the colors love 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 i feel like this palette is good for like any season it's putting gonna be especially good for the fall because you have like your oranges and your browns and your deep purples and your dark browns and your dark blue yes you will definitely be seeing some more looks using this palette so go ahead and get this before they're sold out the next thing that i have for you guys is my foundation that i'm currently using and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This foundation is about 39 bucks from Ulta or Sephora. You gotta look for your color. I'm Maple. They have some cute little names too. Anyways, I'm Maple. I'm Maple and I love this foundation. A little goes a long way. It does not take much for this foundation. It's great for oily skin, acne prone skin and also it's oil free so great benefits it's also made with i believe it's coconut water if you use a coconut water so it kind of helps to moisturize your face at the same time like when you put it on it just kind of oh wow like i don't know how to describe it but it's great so go get it <laughs> the next thing i have for you is my sigma e06 eyeliner brush i got this from amazon actually for like 15 bucks so I'm sure you can get it from Amazon and you can probably get it from Sigma.com. This is like the perfect eyeliner brush for your eyeliner, any eyeliner look. I use it for every eyeliner that I have. This is really good, especially if you're a beginner, you get a very nice sharp line. Um, it's easy to follow. It helps create a thin line so you're not working with too much product at one time. So I think it's good for beginners and experts. I'm not an expert. The next thing I have is my Nivea Men's Sensitive Shading Balm. 
I don't even know what made me decide to go get this stuff. Um, one day I was just at Target. I think it's like five or six bucks. No, it hasn't. By the way, it has no alcohol in it. But I was just at Target and I remembered about it, and I just went ahead and bought, went ahead and bought it. It's super thin. Y'all can hear me shaking it. Super thin formula. But I will just put this on my hands, rub it in on my face until it gets really tacky, like. And my foundation, y'all, goes on so smooth, so seamlessly, so flawlessly. Like it's like my favorite primer. I will never use anything else. I'm not going to say never, but right now this is what I'm using, this is what I like, so let's use that for a while. The next thing I have for y'all is my Kat Von D ink liner. This liner is about 20 bucks at Ulta. It has a felt tip, which makes your eyeliner easy and precise. It creates a thin, nice, pigmented, sharp line, so this is really good. Um, I just started using this probably like a month ago, maybe, something like that, maybe a little bit less, but since I've been using it, this is the truth, and I will definitely be using this from now on, never will I go back. There I go saying never. It's not that I'm never going to go back to anything, but this is like one of my favorite things right now. So I'm going to probably always use it. So when I say never will I go back, it's more so of um, never will I not have this in my makeup collection. <laughs> the next thing I have is my Anastasia Brow Pomade. I am in the color Dark Brown. I've been using this for years. If you've ever seen my, this is probably like the first thing I saw do to my eyebrows by the way. So I will never not have this in my makeup collection. If you watch some of my other videos, probably a couple of videos ago, you saw me do a brow tutorial and I used the Benefit Brow Kit, which is good. It's a good brow kit. It's good for beginners. You kind of have everything in one kit. But if I had to choose between Benefit Brow and Anastasia, I will definitely choose Anastasia. It is like my ride or die brow flickiness if you've seen my videos you've also seen me talk about this diamond sponge I love the diamond sponge it's beautiful it has so many facets like it's easy to use I can do my whole entire face with just this sponge yeah I love the sponge that much so this is definitely a keeper for my hair the first is my scalp massager easy open contains one battery. Here are your massaging brushes and you kind of just put it back on. Uh oh. Why do I always struggle with this one? Okay, there we go. <laughs> put it back on, it locks, and you turn it on, off. And I use this when I'm in the shower, it's made to use in the shower. So I use some of them in the shower. And I will also, sometimes I've done it just like when I'm doing nothing, just massage my scalp. It's great for people that struggle with dandruff or if you have dry scalp or anything like that. It kind of helps open up your pores. It helps to increase your hair growth because it promotes blood circulation, which you already know is needed. And the last products, they're all Diva Curl products. I, that's really the only thing I use on my hair, Diva Curl. So I use their No Decadence. People always say, what is Diva Curl? Oh, okay, I guess that's the hair product. <laughs> but yeah, it is. Um, and that's what it's called, Diva Curl. I use a No Decadence collection with ultra moisturizing look. It's good for extra moisture. And if you guys wanna see kinda how I use the products, Put in the description box that you want to see that, and I will definitely consider making a video about that. Then I use my Diva Curl Styling Cream. I put this on my hair while my hair is soaking wet. So those are kind of like the three things that I use on my hair. That's really all I use besides Design Essentials, and I think I have one Carol Styler product that I use when I do like my twist outs. That's really it. So I kind of try to stick it basic, but if you have some suggestions or something that you think is really good that I should give a try, let me know. I used to love Tresemme Naturals, but they like discontinued it. Why? 
When you find out, let me know. Because I'm still mad about that. So that's kind of all I do, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Maybe it showed you some things that you didn't know. Maybe it gave you some ideas of some products that you might want to go consider. Oh, like this video if you thought it was helpful. Like this video if you want to see some more hauls at the end of the season. So I guess next time it will be maybe the end of November or the end of December before we're going to the new year. Kind of my end of the year favorites. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. Um, also, write in the description box letting me know what you want to see. Write in the description box if you like this video. Just write anything. I would love to know guys, what you're thinking, how you feel, that you even saw my video. Like, that makes me feel happy. So do that. Um, also, subscribe so you can be a part of the fam. So you can know when I'm posting something so you'll be notified. And just so you can keep up with what's going on in my channel. I would love to have subscribers. I would love to have people comment. And I would love to see you like this video. So go do something. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to keep shining bright like a diamond. I have so many great ideas coming soon and I'm just excited about doing them and sharing them. So, gotta subscribe so you can know. Alright, keep shining bright. See you later.